Alright guys, we're gonna get into in the Louisville area. This will also include towers on this side in Indiana. So anyway, let's get a move on. So first we got this this red light cell tower here. It's on a building. The bottom of it looks pretty interesting. It appears to have an LED up there, probably seeing So I have a feeling that this is an iOS for 600, unfortunately. I bet it used to have a 300 millimeter. The tower is red and white. You can see. Um, yeah, this is just a normal tower right here. It's an LED tower. This tower used to have a flashing mount dual strobe. But all these towers that we're looking at are, are, are towers that I'll film in the Louisville arc if we have one. We got this monopole. I filmed this in the Chicago arc only at day. All the towers in the Louisville area that I filmed in Chicago arc only filmed at day. This one I have an LED, unfortunately. I hope those aren't flashing markers. This used to have a dual strobe, but it was replaced in like 2016. Get why it has to be because since it's near the international airport. This you know, here's this red light guy tower, which it appears to have an FG two thousand B. Either a two thousand B or an FH trail eight. This looks like the type of tower to have to have a uh, incandescent, uh, uh, yeah, used to have incandescent, it looks like, it has incandescent markers. Uh, there, there may actually be an F8 Trio 6. But yeah, those look like incandescent markers, so that may just be like a, a 2000B or a 308. The tower's original beacon must have been an incandescent. I think that's a 2000B, judging by the base. This right here is one of the coolest towers in all of Louisville. It's that one model pull of the TWR SD Beacon 7 Red Strobe. Yeah. This is what it looks like today. Get it, why it has Beacon hits us near this airport thingy here. This right here is a pretty interesting tower. That's not very good. This is better. In a way, this is a 140 foot tall monocle that has a beacon. It appears to be an LED, unfortunately. Thankfully, it might be an old school. But, yeah, it also has stadium wise, so that's what makes me find this tower interesting. And that's just a random tower. We're now in Indiana. I didn't actually mark this tower, but I filmed this tower in the Chicago arc. You know, it's really small. For some reason, it actually has a beacon. It's an LED, unfortunately, but I absolutely don't know what LED this is whatsoever. It looks like a strobe. I don't even know what this LED is. You can tell it's a white and red LED because there's markers there. This is the original beacon to the tower. I don't even get why this has a beacon. Is there even an airport nearby? I don't see one. In Sellersburg, we got that red and white monopole at the uh, modern incandescent, I believe, a KG 114 or a TWR 300mm. I filmed this tower in the Chicago arc. It looks pretty old. Yeah, I like how those red platforms too. I 
Oh, that's just somebody else. And we're not gonna film. Then we got these, which, which are uh, two of the towers in both, which one, which a tower in both of those areas are sadly dead. But like, you'll see, you'll see what's up. And there's a lot of towers on this hill. First, we're gonna go over here. This is like New Albany, Indiana, but you can see we got three red and white TV towers and a long one tower. Plus, that's a T-top. Boy, interesting. You'll find a much more interesting fact about it later. Oh, it kind of spoiled it there. This water tank has markers, but this, look, okay, this long line tower right here has a KG-225. I'm betting it replaced a KG-114. Probably. Yeah, that means this tower only shines white. I can't, I don't know where it's left over. Markers are. I don't know what the markers are even left over. Look at these two red and white towers here, red and white TV towers. I think this has night. I think this has night, but only LEDs. I think under that microwave dish, like under that microwave dish, is a beacon. Is an LED? I don't know. I think. It's had a night with only LEDs for a while. The other tower, I think, also is night with only LEDs. And now you'll find something. Yeah, sometimes it glitches like this. So I'm having to reload it. Okay, okay. We're not fine. Okay, we come to the T-top candelabra here. Yeah, you're gonna find something really interesting, but pretty sad. So first, you just look at the T-top candelabra. It has an eye, but only LEDs, unfortunately, but you'll get why. September 2014, there used to be a red and white mast here. But... You can see that that tower is now dead. And now they built this. Is this actually red or white? I don't know. It may actually be gray. I, yeah, yeah it, looks kind of, it looks gray in this tree, but it's not actually gray. Yeah, you can see it's red and white. Anyway, this is a modern day with T-top candelabra. Yes. That's right. A modern day tea top candelabra. Really cool tower, even though it killed off this red and white mast here. Really cool tower. At least we still got this other two towers in the Long Lines Tower. Oh yeah, what's funny? The long lines tower only shines white. Well, I bet the these all these three red and white towers they most likely will shine red. You still a recipe to this tower here. I bet it had three hundred millimeters in this street. Do wait a minute. Is that a box room? No, I don't think so. It probably just had old school 300 millimeters. Well, I wonder if those are actually. No, yeah, never mind. It's just old school 300 millimeters. But if those are actually box shows, I would be pretty angry that they were be that the, the, the tower was taken down. We got these two towers here. Two radio towers. I 
Which they appear to have TWR fading LEDs. Those look like fading LEDs. Yeah, they look like TWR fading LEDs, but they may actually not be. Well, that's my guess. They might be fading LEDs. Here's that they replace old school 100 millimeters. Now we're going to these towers here. It's the first tower you're going to see out of this group. It's really special. Hers has my favorite beacon ever, the TWR Strobe and LED. The second, look how many platforms this tower has. That's so many. That's, that's eight platforms right there. You're going to see another sad thing. You'll see it right now. Just wait. Um, you'll... Okay. Yep, it's another dead red and white guy tower, y'all. So, yeah, that's unfortunate that this tower is now dead, too. But it, unlike the other dead tower, this one does not have a replacement. Unless if one of these towers got a second it got the antenna for this tower. Anyway, I bet this had old school 400 millimeters. I don't know. I would like to collect souvenirs for that old tower, but I don't know how I would want to go to the site because I have a fear of being caught by the police. That's why I wouldn't want to do that. AJ Jackson, you can collect your souvenirs. This tower here, I don't know what beacon it has. It's probably some kind of LED or something. It, it's a really small TV tower. I don't know if this is a TV tower or a radio tower. I do not know. This gray TV tower just has your average box strobes and red strobes set up. There's also a half cell tower. And this red and white radio tower next to it. I don't know what beacons it has. So, yeah. Might, you might as well just look at this tower in Ulster Street, do you? When I first saw the beacon on this tower, I immediately realized it was an E1 DBSL. Because of the gray on the top and white on the bottom. I don't know why there's like a gray lens on the strobe on these beacons. Why well, normal TWR strobes and just any normal strobe in general. The strobe is white, but the strobe part of a strobe LED is gray for some reason. That's very weird. I don't get it. But yeah, it's my my favorite beacon ever. So yeah, this is like a, this is a really cool tower to me. And those of you chopped that one part off, this looks like a mini candelabra. So yeah, and uh, by the way, I found all the towers on these mountains today. Yeah, rest in peace to this tower. You rest in peace to that one tower. And that tower. When I first saw that there used to be a mass tower there, I just thought it was the same T top candle, but it used to be a mass tower. But it appears to be. But it just appears to be a whole different tower that's now dead. And just look on satellite view. Just look.
Look at this. Yeah, oh my god. This is really satellite view of the new tower being constructed and the old tower being taken down. Isn't that just sad? Here's that's parts of the old tower. I don't know if I want to collect souvenirs of this. Yeah, 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 you know you can't. There's a whole new tower here. Here's that the top half is actually gray. This looks more like red and gray in the top. For some reason. The old tower is still like over right there. The WDRB WHAS. So much.